Today, I'm gonna to show you a better way to combine your exposures than HDR. We're talking luminosity masks in Photoshop. Imagine you're taking a photo of a beautiful landscape. The sky looks incredible, but you can't get the sky and the ground to be properly exposed in a single image. Either the sky is gonna be a little bit too bright or the ground is gonna be too dark. So how do you capture all that information in one photo? Well, actually the best way to go about this is to take multiple different photos and then combine those together later in post-production. Now there is an automatic process called HDR or high dynamic range that will automatically combine different exposures together. You can do this in both Lightroom and in Photoshop and even on some modern day smartphones, you'll see automatically it will create an HDR photo. But the downside of using HDR is that it's an automatic process and it doesn't allow you to choose where you'd like to bring in certain exposures. For instance, if you only want the sky from one of these pictures and only want the ground from another picture, you can't choose that in HDR. Not to mention that many of the settings used in HDR software will produce an image that simply looks unrealistic. That's why we present to you an alternative, blending different exposures together using luminosity masks. So luminosity masks are a way to make selections based on the light levels of your photo, allowing you to select areas like your highlights or your shadows independently. When you have those selections, you can bring in different exposures in a very natural manner to blend images together, resulting in a photo that has information in your highlights, midtones, and shadows. Now included in this tutorial is our exclusive action that actually will create all of your luminosity masks for you. All you have to do is simply make those selections and then choose where you'd like to bring in your different exposures. And of course, we're going to show you how to do everything in this tutorial. So the benefit of using our exclusive luminosity mask technique is that you're always going to be working with your raw photos, meaning you have 16 bits of information and you can adjust things like your exposure and your white balance on your raw photos at any time. And all this results in creating an extremely natural looking image that preserves detail from your highlights, midtones, and your shadows. So join us on this journey. We're overthrowing the HDR empire and replacing it with luminosity masks. So let's go ahead and take a look at both processes and see how they actually work in Photoshop. HDR is available to you both in Photoshop and in Lightroom. So here in Photoshop, I'm gonna go to File, down to Automate, and over to Merge to HDR Pro. There we go. Let's go ahead and browse for our files, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull in two raw files. These are NEF, these are Nikon raw files, and let's go ahead and open them up. It's gonna open these images up and automatically convert to HDR. So Photoshop has automatically combined two of our images. Both of these raw files have been combined to create this image. Now, what we're seeing here is a relatively low contrast image, and technically we do have detail in our shadows and in our highlights, but let's take a look at what is going on with our clouds over here. This area is actually still overexposed. Now, we have a ton of different options here on the right-hand side, for instance, I can lower my exposure, my image, and all of a sudden I get back this information, which is great. But now the rest of my image is underexposed. Now we can change the gamma levels going up and down here, and we can see that I'm able to make the entire image brighter and darker, but we're getting an unrealistic image. So as I bring back my exposure to properly expose for the ground, we can see my sky is still overexposed. Now, of course, we can take our shadows and our highlight levels and bring them up or down, 
But we're getting a very unrealistic result. This doesn't, let's bring our vibrance back up. This doesn't really look like one single photo, especially whatever's going on here with the sky and what's going on here with the grass. We've lost a lot of vibrance in our photo itself. So using these automatic processes technically will get you information from your highlights and your shadows, but it results in an image that doesn't look very realistic. Now let's take a look at the same images combined using luminosity masks. So here we have our original exposure. Now you can see our highlights are a little bit too bright. In fact, we've blown out information. There's simply no information there and our shadows are completely dark. So using multiple different exposures and luminosity masks, we're able to get back that information. You can see starting here with getting back information from our sky, then we're able to simply add more contrast into our sky as well, making our exposure look perfectly natural. Next, we're able to bring back exposure and even do dodging and burning on the landscape. We're able to get back information from our sky as well as we're able to add contrast and we're able to add information back and add a little bit of saturation. Not to mention we include a sharpening action which really brings your image to life. So here in our final image, you can see we have information from our highlights, midtones, and our shadows. We've literally lost no details in this photo. Now let's compare the HDR photo with the luminosity mask image. Here you can clearly see the luminosity mask image looks much more natural with details from our highlights, midtones, and shadows, but it simply looks like one exposure where we were able to capture all this information. While the HDR photo looks a little bit unrealistic and hasn't given us control where we want to blend these exposures. So it's pretty easy to see. If you want to create a stunning image that's totally realistic, you retain information from your shadows, midtones, and highlights, and have complete control over the entire process, our luminosity masks really are the best way to bring your images to their fullest potential.